off the beaten trail. Literally. <laughs> These were the times where George Floyd lost his life with a knee on his neck. And so people needed a breathing space. Uh, the fact that we had this um, tour, it was a chance for me to share my uh, breath knowledge in uh, relation to release and um, helping people recognize the importance of breath. Uh, we had to, I shared my practice every morning at the beach of Bagamoyo with, uh, with uh, uh, guests we had from uh, all over they came towards uh, the tour in Tanzania and it was really awesome and beautiful waking up to the sunrise at the beach and sharing some yoga practices that were really helpful that could help them find their life and make it really a great experience. Not only did I share yoga in Bagamoyo, but I also shared it in Zanzibar, or yeah, the Spice Land. Still, it's always beautiful connecting with Mother Earth because it's always giving great uh, gratitude to nature. Yeah, in the water, it's in the shores of the Indian Ocean, and uh, more so sharing my practice also in Arusha, all the way through we had a great time where I had to share my practice as a yoga teacher and uh, sharing my energy as an artist, it was really awesome. <coughs> yeah, and uh, exploring the nature of Tanzania, exploring uh, the food, the beautiful people and uh, the waterfalls in the Kilimanjaro. 
it was really great being uh, in company of great people, amazing people with amazing energy. Yeah, so far it was a great experience for me because it was a time for me to find freedom. As it was, as this tour happened when we were exactly had a relief from the lockdown. This felt like it was a chance to be in paradise. Felt like I was in heaven because you know in my country you had to walk with a mask every time and uh, so with a lot of limitations it was a great uh, time when I was free and I noticed this with my with the people that I was with in Tanzania still who came to be a part of the titles in uh, the series of the live breath it was really awesome and it was breathtaking it was relieving enough uh, lots of thanks and respect to Kitchen Artist Institute and Thai Tours. Namaste. Peace. Uh, the Serengeti National Park, this is the best national park in, uh, in Africa. 2019, also 2020, because of a large number of mammals which found here, as well as uh, migration of wild beasts and zebras. Uh, here we have a we have a lot to see, maybe if we are lucky we may see the big five of animals and which is very rare to find in another national park in Tanzania. But uh, according to the environment or according to the weather, we may see some of them. And I hope, when, when do you expect to leave? Tomorrow? Oh, that's sad. <laughs> I would like to stay with you almost five or seven days in order to know well the national parks and to enjoy the national parks uh, here in Tanzania. Well, good afternoon, good day, everybody. Hakia, me, the success scholar here, just wanted to share with you what a wonderful, phenomenal opportunity and great experience that we had uh, last year in November for uh, the Tanzania Live Breathe Tour. I had the honor and pleasure to experience, I mean, this phenomenal awakening uh, for me traveling to Tanzania, uh, to Africa for the first time. Uh, it was just totally, totally an experience that I could not even begin to elaborate, but I will share a, just a little bit of what, you know, we actually experienced just going to the culture of the people there first coming into Dar es Salaam. Uh, it was just a phenomenal experience. We went to the historic Bagamoyo, uh, city of Bagamoyo, where we uh, had and went to the slave dungeons, which was a great phenomenal experience just to relive uh, what our ancestors actually uh, went through to having to go into slavery, the herb slave trade. And so from there, of course, we went to uh, Kilimanjaro, one of the highest mountains in the world. I'm sorry, no, not the world, but in, to, in Africa. It's the highest mountain actually in Africa. And from there, we went to Zanzibar with the beautiful beaches, uh, um, then down to Arusha. So where we saw the Maasai people. So all of these experiences were a phenomenal, phenomenal combination of, of uh, you know, just eye awakening experiences, life transformational experiences that I believe everyone would certainly enjoy the opportunity to experience authentic African uh, culture, of course, in East Africa. Many things really motivated uh, and inspired me to go, but I knew that, of course, I would uh, travel to Africa. Of course, uh, the Teaching Artist Institute has 
done a phenomenal job with taking dozens of people in Afri to Africa and my experience with uh, the Association for the Study of Classical African Civilizations, as well as the Association of Black Psychologists, Baltimore chapter, uh, who many have taken various groups to Africa over the years, has prepared me to uh, know the value of what going to Tanzania actually means. And so I'm excited. A lot of opportunities have been created from this, and I'm just ready to go to another level. So go to the Teaching Artist Institute page on what, I'm sorry, in on Facebook, and do like and share some of the videos. We have some phenomenal interviews. So I'm just excited to be a part and definitely follow uh, Teaching Artists Institute, Thai TV, T-A-I TV on YouTube. So thank you all already. Bye. Hi, my name is Angela Sales. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. And I'm going to share with you my first trip to the beautiful country of Tanzania. Um, I was very excited to experience Tanzania and it was all that I hoped for and even more. My trip exceeded my expectations. Um, the country is beautiful and I like beautiful things and so riding around, flying around, walking around, moving around the country um, was just wonderful because it's so green, the sky is blue. Uh, the sand is white. Um, at night, the sky is thick with beautiful stars. It's just beauty um, in the most natural form. And the air is clean. It's just a good energy here um, in the country. We did a lot of things. We went to Zanzibar. We uh, were on the beach. We actually did a day of service at an orphanage there and we also did the spice tour and as a cook that was very exciting because I love herbs and I love spices we had an opportunity to see um, how all of those um, herbs are made directly out of the ground so I really look forward to a part two to that um, to help cultivate my skills in the kitchen um, we also visited uh, the beautiful region of Arusha. It's very mountainous, nice and cool, and the people are just really uh, beautiful. There's so much to do and see um, in Arusha. We went up the waterfalls, the Kilimanjaro waterfalls, um, at, by the Chaga village, and that was uh, very... Um, challenging but it was also rewarding to actually start and finish that and of course we went to the Serengeti and had a safari experience where we camped out under the stars and um, that was a once-in-a-lifetime thing for me and so I'm looking forward to returning to the beautiful country of Tanzania to um, get more experience in the culture and with the people um, particularly with um, our artists and um, just, you know, not only touring, but also seeing how we can make positive change and impact as we um, do cultural, educational and business exchanges with uh, the diaspora. And so thank you very much, Thai Tours, for um, making this trip possible uh, for me and my son. Thank you. Greetings everyone, this is Anita, and I want to talk to you about the wonderful, wonderful, wonderful time that I had in Tanzania. I am spiritual, and I truly believe that every step of the way, every segment of the trip had its own special spirit and anointing. We came to Tanzania to uplift, motivate, and inspire the artists there, and that is what we did. We turned Tanzania on its side. From 
the motivational speaking, to the dynamic artistry, to the community service days, to just dining and enjoying great Tanzania food and spices, the excursions, but most of all, the people. Connecting with the people on the ground, envisioning their dreams and giving them hope that they may be able to go on and fulfill their dreams. We touch many people's lives and as well, they touched our lives. Even I, as a professor, I received something that I just didn't even know that I never had. And that was an appreciative love, an appreciative love for the message that I delivered in my workshop, the rise or the role of the artist, the gifted artist. So in short, I just want to say that um, Kim Poo and Thai Tours put together a tour that is good for your mind, that is good for your body. We climbed Mount Kilimanjaro. I was the last one down, but there were guys that helped me get down. I'm 58 years old, but I wanted to take that challenge. She prepared us in advance by um, asking us to start walking and exercising so that we would be able to be fit to be able to climb the mountain. And thank goodness for that wisdom and foresight because indeed, as I said, I was able to climb and make it back down. So um, this is just to encourage anyone that if you're interested in joining Thai Tours, it's going to be all that you want and more, especially if it is your first tour and especially if you've been on many tours, as I have been on many tours, but for me, this was tour of all tours. In the beginning, in the planning stages, I dubbed this tour the Amazing Race. And the reason why is I looked at the flight schedule and saw that we were um, flying in and out of so many different cities. And it just reminded me of the amazing race. And when you get into the midst of packing your luggage and packing light and getting on the airplane and getting to a new destination, you never knew how much fun you were going to have at the next destination and each destination had its own glory had its own um uniqueness to it that it clearly separated the last adventure and that is what is so wonderful about the thai tour is that it's just so much to take in that actually when you get back, it's gonna take you some time to unpack all of your experiences. And it is for me, it was for me, a tour of a lifetime. It was life changing, it was life impacting. And I can say I am a better person because of the tour of all the people that I met, just warm people um, I've connected with and I will continue to be in connection with these people. It's wonderful to say that you have friends, true friends around the world that you have met face to face, that you ate with, that you slept with, that you played with, that you work with because you become family. You become family integrated into everybody's life. No person had a single life or a single experience. We all experienced each other, the good, the bad, the ugly. Um, I don't believe anyone got sick, but, um, but you experience everything the fears when we were on the safari i know i um i was terrified um during the night because i would hear this sound when we was out in the tent and 
when we got to the campsite, it was only a few minutes away from where we'd seen the last lion and there were no fences. So I was terrified all night long, only to find out when I got up to go to the bathroom that the sound was nothing but the zipper on the tents. People had been opening and closing their tents all night long. So it was, that was an experience all in itself. But the glory of seeing the constellation on the Serengeti, it was like no other night that you can gaze and see the stars. Truly, that was a blessed point and place in our world that you can see an exceptional um, constellation, a stellar show. It was awesome. It was like the stars were it was like they were doing this in the sky moving and it was just beautiful so i'm gonna um not belabor but just wanted to let you know that um, touring with ty is an overall experience it's a learning experience we learned about the east african slave trade things that's not talked about so much in the united states the concentration is the west african slave trade but when you go to tanzania and you see people that still look like people in the united states and you wonder well why or how well part of the reason is because the east african slave trade predates the West African slave trade, and they went further into the interior, oftentimes, and gathered slaves from various ports like Bagamoyo. That's in Tanzania. So again, I said, I'm not going to be long, but I just wanted to um, let you know that every uh, segment of the trip has its own spirit, has its own glory, and has its own experience. And is guaranteed it's going to be well worth your time, your effort, and you'll be talking about it, telling your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren, your children, whatever stage you're in, this is going to be a lifetime story that you're going to tell. All right, everyone, have a very, very, very great day.